Tonight's big story involves a devastating explosion in Chandler nearly two weeks ago. Southwest Gas now saying that a faulty type of pipe and human error contributed to the massive explosion. At this hour, the four men seriously hurt in the blast are on a very long road to recovery. And now it appears the entire thing could have been prevented. Team 12's Nyella Charles is live in Chandler with what we're learning tonight. Nyella. Mark Kribe, Southwest Gas say, says that a construction record error is what caused the explosion here because, right, they say there was a faulty gas pipe underneath the ground that they didn't know about because of that error. And the results of that are still here. You can see the shattered glass and the debris. And of course, four men are still in the hospital as a result of that error. We must warn you, some of the images in this story will be difficult to see. New answers as to what went wrong at Platinum Printing in Chandler. Southwest Gas says its initial findings reveal a pipe known to be dangerous caused the explosion that has four men fighting severe burns at the hospital. The pipe to blame, the Drisco Pipe 8000, a pipe susceptible to leaks, especially under Arizona weather conditions. I was in the same type of explosion. Um, it's terrifying to say the least. In 2014, Jason Nelson fell victim to the Drisco Pipe 8000 at his Gilbert home. And when I lit this cigarette, there was an explosion. It took years of procedures to recover from the burns on 80% of his body. It's not the physical journey of, of healing from the burns, it's the mental part. Southwest Gas says after Jason's accident, it spent years removing the Drisco Pipe 8000. But because someone mislabeled the pipe at Platinum Printing in 1999, the gas company never replaced it. You know, a group of young men burned like I was burned is heartbreaking. Four men, Glenn Jordan, Andrew and Dylan Ryan, and Parker Mildebrandt, arriving for work that morning and leaving in an ambulance. With their bodies badly burned, all of them are still at the hospital, with Parker's wife giving birth to his first child without him. The journey to heal will be a long one, but the hope is no person or family has to go through this again. We need to figure out quickly how do we get, how do we find these pipes, how do we remove and replace them, because we shouldn't have another family go through what this family is going through. According to construction records, Southwest Gas previously replaced or abandoned the faulty pipes. But after the explosion here, the company says it will now inspect all pipes installed from 1999 to 2001 to make sure what happened here never happens again. We're live in Chandler, Nyla Charles, 12 News at 10.